right, hello everyone. Greetings from Peru. My name is Martin Leonard and today I want to show you a sweet little plugin for Lightroom and WordPress, which is called WordPress Lightroom Sync. That's a sweet little tool to directly upload your pictures to your WordPress homepage in case you have one. I have one and there it is. It's my homepage. It's a German homepage. Anyhow, whoever is working with WordPress, you know you have your backend, you have your media library and normally you can add your pictures here and then you know you have to upload them from your hard drive. This is kind of time consuming. So what this plugin does is you can make your selections directly in your Lightroom published services and you can edit and then you add your pictures and upload it and get it directly synchronized with your WordPress blog. And that's such a sweet thing and it saves me so much time that I thought I will make this little screencast for you. You can download the plugin directly from wordpress.org. Um, it was developed by Jordi Mayo. You also can go directly to his homepage. Um, here's some more uh, very nice tools. I also used the Retina 2X plugin, which is really working very nice. Um, I don't explain you right now how to install it, all of that, because his homepage is very good and you find all the information you need. It's just there and yeah, read through it, check it out and it will work like very easy. So there we go, I got some pictures that I would like to upload to my WordPress blog. It's just a selection of uh, black and white pictures that I took in the street. It's about street food, so I found this quite interesting, so I want to share it with the people that follow me. So I created my little selection here, and now I just picked the six pictures, and yeah, I drag it directly in a folder I created which says pictures for the blog 2016. All I have to do, I mean, it's already here. They are labeled, it's all of that. So I gave them name. That's important because um, the plugin will automatically set up the names and give them the captions I set up here. All right, and the only thing I have to do is really just press the pub publish button and then I'm done. Depending on the internet, it takes a while to get it uploaded and then you have it directly in your media library. Yeah, while it's uploading, since I have a very slow internet connection here, I can show you how to set up easy. So you go to your publish services, the publish manager. Um, there's the publish service, I give it a name. That's your authentication. Uh, I don't show you this right now because it has my serial key. Um, yeah, and there you can set up what you want to have in the picture. Once it's in WordPress, there's some different options. It's all really straightforward. It's actually almost the same than all the other published services. File settings, the JPEG, the quality, and then you are actually done. I can just show you for now. If you create a new one, then there will be the trial. So you can use it for free for one week. Put in your WordPress uh, address, you're logging, connected, and that's it. Of course, you need to install the plugin as well in your plugins folder in WordPress. All right, and so now I'm back in my WordPress backend, and you see six pictures have been uploaded, and it's all there. So I already prepared a, a new post, so I wrote something about it, that's what I like to do, and now I just need to insert the pictures here. So I just select them, I mean that's, that's WordPress stuff, that's simple. You see the caption, alt text, description, all of it is set like I wanted it to be. So then I just select the size I want and then I insert it in my post. So there we go. That's just, and that's, I love it, I mean, the caption, everything there, the pictures are there, and it was like, really, if you have a fast internet connection, it takes you just a few minutes to do this. All right, so I finish up my little article, give it a name, a new address, and yeah, there we go, I just publish it. 
Okay, there we go. About some street food was just published. That's it. Finished. What more about the plugin? I mean, it, I just showed you how to quickly post something. And now I show you some more about the plugin because what happens with all the pictures you already have on your blog? So wouldn't it be good to just synchronize the pictures you uploaded in years? And yeah, maybe you want to change something, you got a new watermark, all of that, and you just do it out of Lightroom. That would be just fantastic, wouldn't it? And WordPress Lightroom Sync offers exactly this. All right, so what do you do? You go to your to your library, then you have the plugin extra menu and it shows you two more options. One is total synchronization and the other one is switch photos. So now with total synchronization you can link all the pictures you have in your WordPress backend on your homepage, on your server. You can link directly with Lightroom. In my case, <laughs> it would check all my 30,000 pictures that I have right now in my catalog with the ones on the homepage. And if they match, they get linked. And right now it says me I have 1,707 unlinked pictures on my server. And I can tell you, if you start this service here, then you really take your time. I mean, this will, with a good internet connection, this will run at least a night. Um, so I can't show you here because I'm in Peru and the internet is like stone age <laughs> speed. But whatever, I show you something else that I used to do because I found some pictures I didn't like so much on my blog and you know, I just want to update them. So what you can do, if you find a picture, let's say this picture, I edit it a little bit and I want to change it on my blog. So what you can do, you can just synchronize it. What you need for that is an ID number, which you can create easily as well with the same tool we just had. For this I just go on advanced and then there's an option called IDs. So I use this a lot. There's other options about hashes. That's what uh, WordPress Lightroom does automatically every, by every upload. It doesn't set the IDs all the time, just when you need it. So what I do now, I create a Lightroom ID just for the one uh, for the seven pictures in this case, because they were all selected. And then I have this number here. What I do now, I just copy it. I go to my Media Tools extension and then you can just look, where is this picture? For example, I found it here. Put in the Lightroom ID, I link it. Now it's linked. And if I put this picture now in my publish folder, I upload it, then it will be linked and it has the new settings. And this is just really amazing. If you just imagine you have 1000 pictures at your blog and you change your watermark, then you know, you just select all of them, you get them republished, and you are set. I mean, this is just amazing. So that's one of the options. And here, it's, for example, it shows all the unlinked photos I have, of course, since I didn't link all of them, and I don't see a reason to do it, but it's, it's possible. Another nice tool, which also comes directly out of Lightroom, is the switch pictures. So you say, you have two pictures and you just want to swap it. You, you want to complete half another picture with it. So what you can do here, then you use the plugin extra and use the switch photos option. All right, I mean, that's how I use the plugin. There's some more hidden treasures in it. Like when you go to the settings, here's the extension settings. So I tried this one so you can set it up and then all the pictures you upload, they will create automatically a new post and a gallery within. That's also quite handy. It depends what gallery you are using. There's some basic settings. Uh, I changed the uh, media date. So uh, the metadata will be the one when the picture was shot and not when it was uploaded to the media library. I think that's much easier if, if you are searching for pictures. And yeah. 
that's it so far from my side i can highly recommend this this plugin it works really perfect see you next time ciao